Hi Leo, what's up? Welcome to your November reading. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here and for all of your love and support. I truly appreciate you. We're going to be seeing what messages they come through for you guys. Get some insight, get some guidance. Overall, see what's going on, what you can expect. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's going on for Leo in the month of november 2024 what do you guys need to know oh my god no way because this came out for scorpio as well this is the first card y'all seen i shuffled this deck i shuffled it off camera and this came out for scorpio and now it's come out for you oh my god i mean we're in scorpio season this is a time where the veils are getting thinner energy is popping it's extra intense we have a lot of intense shifts happening this month we have um pluto moving into aquarius middle of the month i can't remember the exact date i forgot to look that up um but it will be opposite of leo you guys so that will be a very interesting time hmm a lot of shifts taking place when this card comes out though this is a sign your mind your <laughs> can i speak your guides your angels your ancestors those who have passed on who are no longer physically here energetically they are here they're around you and they're extra 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 around you during this time and if you need ass assistance or help or support i don't know why i'm fucking slurring my words i'm so sorry um how do i how do i all I'm trying to say, <laughs> I'm, get, I'm getting too much in my head. Spirit is around you always, but especially during this time. And it's kind of like a tap on the shoulder being like, hey, hey, Leo, hey, Leo, it's your spirit guy. Or it's it's Jill who passed away. It's your mother, <laughs> right? It's literally like a spiritual guide who is around you. You may have multiple. You probably do have multiple. They are around you and they're here for you. And if you need any help or support or guidance, just ask. They won't intervene. They won't step in the way. They won't They won't do anything unless you give them the permission. All right? So I am also seeing that there is more of this connection or the possibility, the opportunity to connect more with your spirit guides, your spirit team, if you're open to it. If you have an open mind. This also, when this card comes out, there's so much going on behind the scenes that you may not be aware of. And also, just like logically speaking, you're trying to make excuses, you're trying to justify, you're trying to come up with every freaking reason why, oh, it's not true, or oh, I'm just overthinking, I'm just reading too much of things, oh, it's a coincidence, no, it's not. No, it's not. And the, there is a lot of this unspoken energy in the air, this vibe, this feeling, this essence that's just lingering. It's just there's there's a lot going on. So I don't I don't know. We're gonna pull some more. We're gonna pull some more. We're gonna see what wants to come out for Leo placements. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Something about needing to look at the bigger picture with the unseen. We have the Maiden. Oh, that's way too many. The kiss at the bottom of this big fat stack. There's this energy of coming together. There's this clashing, not even clashing, but merging is the word, not clashing. Clashing is more of like resistance. A merging of like two energies or multiple things coming together at once. There's intimacy coming up. There's love. There's romance. There's sexuality. There's chemistry. There's, we have the poet. This is very interesting stuff. There is, we have the lover at the bottom, definitely seeing relationship things being brought to the surface. Love, romance, sex. Like, I know I'm repeating myself. We have also, like, creativity and a lot of, ro like, I do get this romantical kind of vibe here with the maiden, the poet, the lover, the unseen. Is this someone that you haven't met yet? Or you know them, but you haven't physically met? hmm the maiden well this is about pleasure this is about enjoyment this is about opening up you know we see the rose over here and it's interesting because upside down it's actually like these trees there's this desire to explore something that you've never had before or it's just it's different than what you're normally used to there's something that you see is precious it's gold it's rare it's very special it's very intimate it's very personal 
there's something about physical touch. I mean, it literally looks like a, a hand and a titty. Like, it looks like a hand and a titty. Hopefully YouTube doesn't mark that <laughs> or flag this. But, it, like, this literally feels here that there is this chemistry that's just, even when we look at the poet waiting to explode, look at all these birds, there's a message coming in. You might be seeing a bunch of crows. You might see a feather. Um, keep your eyes peeled if you do in the next, let's say, I don't know, 24, 48 hours, and that's extra message for you. I also just feel like I'm about to sneeze, so if somebody just sneeze, bless you. God bless you. All right? Even if you didn't sneeze, bless you, bless your soul. But I literally just felt that little tickle in my nose. Huh. And that's funny, right? Feathers, little tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, and then you sneeze. Like, what the fuck? There is this... Hmm. Someone might be writing you a poem, or you might be writing someone a poem. Like, there, I get this very creative, romantic... Like, candles lit, rose petals on the floor. Like, a very romantic night. Or is this something that you're visualizing? Is this something that you're attracting? Or something you desire to have or experience? in a relationship or love or romance i don't know i see a lot of romance but yet in the poet we don't see his face we're like who is this mystery man so some of you this isn't something in your life at this moment but it's something that you've maybe been dreaming of or you've been yeah some of y'all have been having these dreams of like like a, a figure you can't make out their face or specific details but you can sense their presence or there's this i feel like if you're single you're very close to meeting the love of your life or didn't that come through in the last reading it was the one like I, we didn't i don't know if we really figured out what the one was in your last reading but it was like you know certain stepping stones to get you in the right place at the right time like that was your bonus reading for october and i remember i was saying specifically last week's reading it was like okay end october early november so it does feel like there is this attracting some sort of thing opportunity person experience and we're gonna get to the bottom of this y'all <laughs> we're gonna get to the bottom of this but it feels very poetic and i'm also like because we see in this in the poet he's like holding what looks like kind of like a moon so i'm wondering if there's something about the full moon in taurus don't have the date for that you can google that i have not you know what i probably getting into these november november readings i should have looked at the dates prior but today i just haven't i didn't feel called to it so i'm just not going to you can do that though full moon in taurus you'll hear me talk about it later on um in november if you stick around <laughs> i'm sure you'll hear me talk about it i'll probably pull moonology cards uh next week or something like that um but there's something about i don't know love is in the air romance is in the air there's something about looking at the bigger picture something is about to make itself known when we look at the maiden there's these trees at the top right and we all and then in the poet we have all these birds right and birds we know birds be living and sitting and chilling in the trees it feels like you know someone shoots a gun boom all the birds go flying that loud sound it's now revealing the birds that were once hidden in the trees you're like well where are all the birds i hear them but i don't see them now boom boom loud sound the birds go flying now they're known now their presence has been revealed i don't know you guys this is something's gonna be revealed something that's hidden something that you aren't quite able to make out something that you've written about or you've dreamt about or you've really been like romanticizing dreaming of it's coming in it's coming in and it's gonna take you to new levels of happiness of joy of pleasure of just harmony just a lot of good stuff something that you can touch right we go back to the main i'm like oh my god she's like looks like a tit like i know it's, you don't see a titty but her hands she's covering something round <laughs> you know so i mean ma imagination use your motherfucking imagination from the unseen something you can't even see you can't even touch you can't even feel or smell but like you just know it's there to being able to actually physically taste touch feel smell hear right you're manifesting something from the non-physical to the physical so by romanticizing your life or you need to rom romanticize your life like really 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 fall in love with you your life how you live your life what you do and watch the magic happen watch the magic pour in i really get this energy of like writing a love letter <laughs> or like there's a song 
certain song maybe that's playing in your head, a certain tune. Hmm. And so we have the lover at the bottom. Now this can also talk about like self-love and finding yourself, but I feel the nectar. Oh my God. And the offering. No, you guys there. Look at this. The flower again, the sweet old nectar. There's an offer being made. I feel like you're coming to union, coming into union with a soulmate of yours that you've been attracting your bay. <laughs> you've been attracting your boo. You are ready to receive this amazing love of your life. If you're already in a relationship, I see that this is going to get spicy. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, and I'm also seeing underneath that we have the mountain, which is someone that's been just really on their own for a long time. Look at the trees, right? The trees from earlier. You've been doing a lot of soul searching, a lot of just reflection and finding yourself. And maybe you've been a bit isolated or detached or even lonely. I also get the vibe that you haven't been lonely or a group of you, you're like, nah, I'm just chilling. I'm in my own zone. I love my energy. I'm at peace. This is the calmest, the most clearest I've felt in a long time. Awesome. So yeah, hmm, very interesting. We're gonna look into these cards. I will clarify these later on when we get to the tarot, but before I do that, I do just wanna pull you guys a couple cards from the Everything Oracle. Very wild. I'm very curious. Let me know how this is resonating, if it's resonating. You may also need to come back to this reading end of, not, not October, end of November. You might wanna come back to this reading at the very last week of November. It might make more sense right because as this reading will be up on the 28th of october we're still technically in october i'm doing this reading in october my intentions are reading for the month of november so november vibes this most likely especially with the unseen and i'm saying this in scorpio's reading this most likely hasn't happened yet or it hasn't been revealed to you just yet so spirit's just giving you a little heads up Okay. Ooh, oh my god, I think it's gonna be good. I'm excited for you, honestly. Pluto in Aquarius is gonna be opposite of you. It's gonna really transform your life. We already had experienced Pluto in Aquarius a little bit last year, earlier this year. It's been dancing in and out of Capricorn Aquarius, but it's gonna stay in Aquarius forever. Well, not forever, but it's gonna feel like forever. Um, got like a good 20 years, so who knows, y'all? Who knows? Pregnancy at the bottom. Shout out if you are pregnant or there's, you know, a baby being born in the near future. Maybe you're having a Scorpio baby. If you are pregnant, comment that down below. Let me know. Um, but you know, this may just be symbolic of just representing you're in this stage where something is growing and developing. You can't see it, right? A pregnant lady she's pregnant you can see she's she's got a belly but you can't see the actual baby till she gives birth till it pops out of your uterus so i'm just saying pregnancy it's like you know it's there and it's only it's like a countdown and again i was saying this earlier in a different reading that right now we are in the final moments final countdown of pluto and capricorn these are the final days so it kind of feels like, you know, there is a clock that's counting down. Um, this is the one just fell out. Wow. We have the timing is right at the bottom. Okay, let's see. What's going on for Leo? Completion or closure? What's going on for Leo? They won't reach out. That fellow in the reverse. Oh, interesting, I fell in the reverse. Normally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't read this deck in reversals, but perhaps someone who wasn't reaching out or refusing to reach out, they may actually change their mind. All right? Especially with the completion closure, you're going to get answers. We have light-colored hair with manifest. Let's get... How many have we got? Two, four, five. Let's do one more. What else do we got? For Leo, still angry or hurt with entrepreneurship at the bottom get that money get that bag get focused get rich <laughs> especially if you're still angry or hurt use that as fuel use that as your motivation to just do better for yourself for your life for your future use that pain as fuel so if you're like okay 
you know what, I'm going to launch that business. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. I'm going to learn how to invest my money wisely. I'm maybe going to go back to school. I'm going to put myself out there, going to start that YouTube channel. I'm going to promote my product I've already created, like whatever. I'm picking up on the energy where it's like, this is about you being courageous to make bold moves and be a winner. We also have confession underneath that. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so let's go back to the main cards that came out. This is the one with completion or closure. Hmm. Definitely seeing a cycle come to an end. A very significant cycle that has been going on for God too long. Um, they won't reach out. Whoever's not reaching out is the reason why it's because they're still angry or hurt or the reason why you're not reaching out is because you're still angry or hurt. So your feelings are valid. It is what it is. I wish you well. I wish you lots of peace and healing. And if it ain't you, well, whoever is angry or hurt, I wish them peace and healing because, you know, that sucks. Whatever happened, happened. Um, something, let's see, manifest. What you manifest? What you creating? Well, whatever this is, keep it going. You're on the right track. You have a good idea. You have good vision. So continue to keep building off of that dream because you can manifest this dream. You can attract this dream. You can. It's already yours. That's the thing. It's, it's already yours. It's just about, you remember the pregnancy card? It's developing. It's in the stages. You haven't yet given birth to it and pushed it into, you know, physical reality, but it's there and it's on its way and the timing is right. So like literally keep going, keep dreaming, keep believing don't stop believing <laughs> right and also shout out to anybody with light or colored hair shout out to you your numbers are 50 110 25 33 87 and 75 those may be important numbers maybe it's an age uh you know the year you're born an address your favorite number lucky number maybe it is um phone number you know might be important for somebody okay um i also just so we had entrepreneur we already talked about that we had a confession Ooh. and one last one job loss or decrease hmm what was the other one entrepreneur what hmm death or rebirth if you've gone through some sort of job loss or decrease i see you are, there's some sort of huge transform transformative rebirthing process you're going through like if you lost your job you might be like you know what <laughs> confession i hated that job and <laughs> i'm gonna be an entrepreneur and this is a blessing in disguise i don't know y'all all right let's move on um i want to look into the these cards and then we'll see where we're at with the time i'll pull some extra messages at the end possibly yeah i think we'll have time at the end to pull just like other other november messages but let's see the unseen video You know, and the maiden, I believe that's Virgo, right? Virgo is, you not know, like Cancer's the crab, Leo's the lion, Pisces is the fish, Aries is the ram, right? Taurus is the bull. Virgo's the maiden. Virgo doesn't even have an animal. It's like the maiden. So Virgo energy might be important. Um, next year, north-south node will move into Pisces and Virgo. So, hmm, maybe you have Virgo placements. All right, talking about the unseen for Leo in November. Oh, oh, that fell on the poet. And did y'all see how the card flipped itself and then it did a little spinny spin, a little remix? So is it upright? Is it reverse? Take your guess. I think it's upright. Oh, it's reverse. I was wrong. I, it's because I said, I think. It's like, no, 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 no thinking here. This is about feeling. <laughs> Intuition isn't thinking, it's knowing. So, my bad. Okay, so Seven of Wands reverse. Something here, you've been just, you've kind of given up on something, or you've just, you're not putting up a fight. You're not putting up a fight. Tell me about Unseen. You're not fighting for something. If you don't see it, it's not worth a fight. Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups is kind of giving, like, not forcing and just letting things be as they are and allowing things to flow. And when you, like, loosen the grip, that's when this comes to fruition. It looks like there's a relationship, a conversation, a connection here um, where that you've, like, taken a break from or you haven't been putting as much energy into or you just haven't felt the need to fight for this or put as much... I also see here, hmm, 
I don't know. I'm going to have to check the bottom. We have two sevens. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom. 77. Maybe you're born 1977. But so we can see here the Eight of Wands and the Two of Cups. There is some sort of movement being made. And I'm wondering if it's because you chose to kind of just like back away. Also, this is your energy, Leo, by the way. This is Mars and Leo. Maybe you have your Mars placement in Leo. Um, very interesting. But so this is saying like you, because this is literally Leo's energy, you stop putting energy into something because you didn't see the effort or you didn't see the results or it just wasn't going anywhere. Some sort of deep inner knowing was saying, okay, you know what? Let me just stop. Uh, I'm forcing things. This is exhausting. This isn't fulfilling. This is draining. Um, what's the point, right? You feel like you were just being, there's like resistance that you were experiencing. So you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to stop. I'm going to just stop. I'm going to save myself the time, the energy. I'm going to just stop. And the moment you decided to put your foot off the gas pedal, that's when everything started to flow or that's where everything is going to flow. It's 707 on the clock sandwich number. It seems like this may be the energy you're needing to embody in November or like right now or whenever you listen to this spirit saying, OK, whatever you're forcing and it's like not working. If anything, you're experiencing resistance. That's where you're needing to loosen the grip, take your foot off the gas. And at the moment you do that is when it's going to just start flowing so easily, so effortlessly. And it looks like this is within some sort of partnership, relationship, connection, two of cups. OK, it could be with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um yeah, so you also have Sagittarius out here. But even with this being the context of the unseen, there is like a spiritual connection. There is this energy that you guys share, this unspoken bond. All right, Seven of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Three of Cups. You're anticipating to hear from this person. Who is this person? Five Pentacles at the bottom. Someone you're not really communicating with or you've been kind of ignored by or they haven't been giving you much energy or you haven't been giving them much energy. Um, this may be a friend. This may just be... Well, someone you have a good time with. But is it solo time or is it you and a bunch of other people? I don't, I don't really get this vibe that you've been... No, I mean, okay, this is not even important. I don't really think it's that important. <laughs> what I'm saying, it's probably irrelevant, but you, it's showing that you're expecting to hear from this person. You're expecting, like, you are anticipating and you know it's that there's going to be some sort of conversation, an event take place, um, meeting up, catching dinner, you know, some sort of meeting and an opportunity to have some sort of discussion or conversation about your emotions, your feelings. So that's why you're like, you know what, if me and this person were meant to be, I'm not going to really like force it. If this is truly meant for me, it won't pass me by. Okay, so what about the maiden? There's the maiden here for Leo. Show me the maiden. Here, I can shimmy these cards down. We got space. Tell me about the, tell me about the maiden for Leo. Two of Wands, not the Maiden. Ace of Pentacles, not the Maiden for Leo in the month of November 2024. Four of Wands. Ooh. Oh, and there's that seven of pentacles again at the bottom. So here we have it. It looks like you're making a decision or you're choosing between two different paths, two different rows you could go down. Whatever you're choosing, it takes you to the four of wands. And this is about your long-term future. This is about... So here you are, right? Two of wands. You're thinking, you're pondering your life. And you're looking like, do I want to stay on land? Do I want to explore the sea, the ocean, see what else has to be offered? What else I want to experience in this life you're at this crossroad and then we have this little bird not so little bird but here is a messenger coming on in that conversation the page of cups the what you were expecting earlier that seven of pentacles when you're like okay you know what i'm gonna force this i know i'm gonna talk to this person i'll probably see him around we'll probably get together we'll probably x y and z so i'm just not gonna worry about it i'm just not gonna stress about it i'm just gonna like let it go and just do my thing right and so that's what happened here. Here you are. You're thinking, pondering about your life and your future and what direction you want to go. Here we got this little birdie swooping on in, a little message. And that is then helping you 
make the next move, make the next step. And this is about like you securing something. This is about the long term future. Oh, look at the rose here. Well, you know, I was like saying earlier, like romanticize your life and really just like fall in love with yourself and your day to day and just like incorporating more things that bring in pleasure and fun and happiness and just things that, you know, just light you up right this is about you oh i just felt like some i literally felt something touch my head my crown okay spirit what's up <laughs> that happens to me sometimes it's so wild um what i was gonna say i forgot but anyway i think spirit said okay that's enough jay you've talked enough about this it looks like whatever you you make a decision you make a choice and then like it takes you to this higher level of commitment like it does give this like everything's aligning soulmate energy that's the that's the four of wands it can represent soulmate energy it does talk about you know right place right time divine timing 11 11 um celebration fun times partnership commitments and just feeling the love feel the love so seven of pentacles at the bottom <laughs> the sun a and the empress a you're like you're just so blessed here you are you're like i expected nothing less here's your energy leo there's the sun you are expected to be happy and that that's just thriving and loved and adored and cherished and treasured and you're doing that for yourself here but here you are hold on how do these cards come out because the way it came out in the deck it's like this it's like this okay here the way the empress is looking over the ace and wand she's like oh my god i also don't i do get a bit of like a very playful or sexual energy with this and like sometimes the wand we know wink wink <laughs> you know so i do feel here oh you just feel good and there's just a lot of passion and play and pleasure and fun and laughter and love like and again this is she's pregnant pregnancies do watch out for that do watch out for that um this is great and if this isn't about like love or romance or intimacy any of that good stuff it's just showing that where you're headed in your life is so fulfilling and there's lots of new opportunities lots of new projects lots of new ways to just explore and have fun and do new things that just bring more enjoyment into your life like i feel like i'm just repeating myself of like all these lovey happy warm words but like that's literally what's coming out <laughs> i don't know no, it's like you romanticize your life you sprinkle a little ra magic a little razzle dazzle and it's just like it's fucking fabulous scorpio season you're really Whoever I'm connected to, Scorpio season is a vibe. It's a vibe. It's just beautiful. All right, so the poet. What's the poet about? I do get a very creative energy that you're tapping into, especially if you are a writer or a poet or you're just like a musician or you're just creative. I'm seeing a photographer, a painter, a dancer, someone who studies the planets, like astronomer and uh, that's no, not even like really like I don't, I don't even know i'm not gonna even get into that but um how about the poet maybe you bird watch i don't know Turn about the poet we have the eight of cups what are you you're leaving something behind we have the lovers at the bottom lovers and the five of pentacles it looks like you could be leaving behind somebody that has iced you out ignored you shunned or just like left you abandoned you left you alone discarded you you're you know like i'm moving away from that shit okay tell me about the poet for leo magician you're like i can manifest something better i know that i can create the best for myself the best life for myself why would i stick around waiting for breadcrumbs when i can manifest the whole fucking bakery not even the full loaf the whole bakery <laughs> the, the poet some of you you're manifesting moving or a new home or travel we have the five of cups in the reverse here love to see it so you are i'm seeing you're getting over like a heartbreak or disappointment or just like a really challenging time emotionally you're turning things around for yourself you're literally turning your whole entire life around and the way you live your life and just huge huge improvements when it comes to your emotional well-being and 
Yeah, this is the best you felt in a long time. This is the best you felt in such a long time. Oh, a huge weight's been lifted. Your bag is so light. Like, you see how he's traveling? He's got his little backpack. Your backpack that you're carrying, figuratively speaking, it's so light. It's so airy. It's very... Yeah, it just feels like you've unpacked a lot of weight and baggage and pain and drama and just, you know, all this shit from your past. It feels like you've really lightened your load and you've made a bunch of space. You've made a bunch of space. Six of Pentacles at the bottom. All right, um, let's switch decks here. We have a couple more minutes. Let's see what else. Let's n So, hmm. All right. I don't really remember what came out. <laughs> Like, I gotta be honest, I'm channeling, so this does not stick in my brain. I'm like, I don't remember at all. And we've been talking for, like, 30 minutes, you guys. I don't know what the fuck this reading's about. I don't remember anymore. Just, like, you romanticizing your life and experiencing a lot of love and pleasure and good stuff. And I'm seeing something about a relationship. So, all right, what else we got for Leo? The month of November 2024. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Ising, Venus. going on for leo in the month of november 2024 we have the three of pentacles five of pentacles at the bottom i see you're getting yourself out of a situation that has been very financially draining and exhausting or even just like physically draining or if you've been tired if you've been sick if you've like been dealing with some sort of injury or illness or you've been just struggling man like really just struggling in the material way you're finding a solution or you're getting help or there's help coming in that's going to take you out of this so five pentacles plus the three wow that is so embarrassing five six seven eight i can't you know what i was never a math girl i was never a math girl but <laughs> quick math who what i remember hearing in school like, you're not gonna have a calculator in the real world bitch we have now ai that'd be like solving math problems that's kind of crazy like but yeah fucking quick math bitch i can't i can't my brain it's it's the end of a really crazy ass week for me so sorry i can't do mental math right now but yeah anyways just really staying focused determined dedicated put in that work oh that five pentacles come back out <laughs> spirit, spirit says you better do the work um and some things that you're putting you know what i gotta be on oh there's that eight of pentacles hey okay thanks mental math mental math <laughs> some of you though i gotta be honest we go through the three of pentacles to the five of pentacles something you're working on it's not really working like it's just not worth it can we get insight onto what this is hold on it's like hold on before we even look into that eight of pentacles devil hang man reverse you're losing out you're putting in all this energy to something and it's draining it's like what are you working in a sweatshop like are you getting underpaid <sighs> um hopefully it's not unfair or unhealthy work standards again i don't know where you're watching from comment down below where are you watching from what country are you from or where are you at in the world because i know that there, we got everybody across the entire world which is wild but yeah some of you guys it's like you're putting in all this energy all this work busting your ass off and you're just barely scratching the surface or it's like if you got like a lot of debt to pay and it's just okay so some of you let's see how are you get what why is why is this being brought up because it's being brought up for a reason in november why is the three of pentacles the five pentacles what is this exactly for leo why is this coming up for leo three of pentacles five of pentacles hmm, are you it's saying like your energy could be beneficial elsewhere two of wands okay so crossroads again it kind of goes back to earlier when we looked at the unseen you're really considering your life oh no sorry that was the maiden we clarified the two wands to the four wands you're at this crossroad and you're like okay i could go down this way or i could stay here and you're being asked to really think about the long-term future look we have the two of pentacles at the bottom this is time for you to really weigh out like is this energy effort time like that you're investing in this place if this is a job is it worth it two of pentacles page of cups maybe there's a conversation you need to have that might you know allow you to look at the bigger pictures or look at your options tell me more about this three of pentacles and five of pentacles why is this coming out here what's the importance or relevance for leo in november 
Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. What is this all about? Four of Cups. Hmm. Emperor. Yeah, because again, it keeps showing. It keeps showing, especially the Emperor. If this is about, like, again, career or business or something that you've been very, very dedicated to. You've been pouring a lot of energy. You've been building, creating something. But is it getting you to where you need to be? Is this enough? Is this sustaining you? Is this, you know? And maybe it just goes back to what we were saying earlier about the whole, like, pregnancy thing. Like, give it a little bit more time. It's going to grow. You're just, in, maybe, it's the first trimester. It's like, you're pregnant, but you don't you don't look like it. But it doesn't mean that you're not fucking pregnant. The baby's not there. Growing, developing, like, you know, figuratively speaking, too. It doesn't have to be literal. I know there's lots of men that watch the channel and stuff. So, I know y'all don't be giving birth. Okay. But you, you know what I mean, right? So this could just be saying, like, uh, even though you're not seeing the results right now, or it's not technically, like, paying off entirely at this moment, it doesn't mean it won't down the line. Okay. I don't know why. The f I guess, listen to your gut. What's your gut trying to tell you about this? Queen of Swords. I guess it's just about being... At, like, so listen to your gut, of course. But you do need to be logical here. Hmm, I don't know. This reading's getting a little weird. We don't have much time left. Okay, what else do you have for Leo? Nine of Wands. Okay, so determination, persistence, stay focused, don't quit or give up. It's saying that. It's saying that. So keep going. If you're set, if you're determined, then that's your this is your message to keep going. If you're having doubts or you're kind of going back and forth, hmm, then maybe it's not alignment. Maybe it's time for a change. Wheel of Fortune. That's your next part out. Right, but I see regardless of however things um, unfold, you're determined to. We have the devil and then eight of pentacles in the reverse, flipping out. You're determined to remove or free yourself from something that has been holding you back or been a negative influence in your life, or some sort of attachment, something that has been draining your pockets, draining your energy, draining your livelihood, like just exhausting and not fulfilling so this is where you are really determined to break away from this and be free from this once and for all i'm seeing here at the bottom of the deck this is the last last little cards we'll look at we have judgment the ace of wands and the moon okay so i'm seeing around the new moon in scorpio or maybe the full moon in taurus i don't have the dates for either of them you can google that if you're interested you stick around on my channel i'll probably talk about it either next week or the next week after that <laughs> new moon energy i'll definitely talk about it but around the new moon it seems like there's going to be some sort of idea or inspiration or a new path that's illuminated. And it's I'm seeing something about this being divinely orchestrated or huh, it's, it's going to be part of the bigger plan, bigger picture, bigger blueprint that takes you to all this good stuff from earlier. Remember, we had all these, we had the sun come out and the empress and the ace of wands came out as well. So definitely feel like around the new moon Scorpio is where there will be like a turn or, or like a twist or like so do be open to receive be ready get ready things are going to shift for the better i don't know i'm going to leave your reading here leo hopefully you gain something from this reading i appreciate you i'm so thankful for you thank you for all of your love and support i love you um uh, private readings are available down in the description box below and i will catch you in your next reading bye leo